Welcome in, everybody. No. Oh. This is me finishing the game, don't I? Hope you liked it. Okay. How you doing, Abby? Welcome in. feel more awake than ever. Did you start the show from the beginning, Abby? Hello. Richie A and you just gave me a curry. Okay, you started from the beginning. So I'm waiting until Marie's whereabouts have been discovered. Okay, so we just gotta keep on going. Um, so what did you think of the main story for this game? Compared to Persona 5's? <coughs> Honestly, if I had accepted the invitation, I probably would have finished your social link at this point. Just a few more short days, but I should be pretty close to the end of these. I understand that. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, welcome in, Nick Raymond 11. Dude, how the fuck have you been enjoying One Piece? What episode are you on now, dude? I think this story is amazing. Kanji should be pretty close. I can't remember though. Is he seven? Yeah, he is seven right now. On 325. Welcome home! Oh, wait. What was the, um... Oh, wait. So are you at the end of it? Is that the last episode? Yeah, 325 is the last episode before that filler skip. Yeah, just fast forwarding. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So what are you gonna do, Nick? Are you gonna continue into, into the next arc? Call it there. <laughs> yes, Miss Kashi. Miss Kashi, Wagi.
Kanji. Yo, Kanji. Okay, sure. The whole gay thing hits too close to home, so I want to see it, but I, I can do it in my own game. I... I honestly... Because I'm looking at... I'm looking at it, I don't even know if it touches on that too much. But... Just, it seems like it more touches on him being a delinquent than anything else. But I apologize, because I should have done that. that episode Nick. um episodes 326 to 336 are filler i don't know what this filler is it's probably kind of stupid again i don't know so you can either try to watch it or just skip to 337 because 337 is when the next arc starts but i do love now don't quit like run run I, I don't know but as long as we watch the rank 10 i'm happy okay understandable we will do that if we are able to. I'm really hoping we have the time. Because I don't know when we start Marie's thing. Although we are getting to 9 right now. So as long as it moves in this way, we should be good. I mean, like, even just... I'm looking at all the dialogue. The other day I, I went to visit Dad's grave. I'll let this play out. First time I, I went so. on my own. I had a lot to tell him. How was it? I, I, only, I felt like I could finally face him. A little late, though. <laughs> Dad told me something right before he died. If you're a man, you have to become strong. I felt like he was telling me I wasn't a real man. It pissed me off. So I changed my looks and pushed myself away from people. Fighting gangs, thinking I was keeping mom safe, and even trying to catch the killer. I was just being stubborn. I thought all that was how I was becoming strong. That I was really making up for all the trouble I caused. I was drunk off my power. But that wasn't it. That ain't what Dad meant. I still don't really get what being strong means, but I'm going to start by not lying to myself. No more being scared of everyone, hiding my hobbies, staying away from people. Anytime, any place, I'm going to bust right through as my own self. That's the way to deal with that other me in the TV world. As long as there's someone like that snot-nosed kid to accept me, I ain't afraid of nothing. I should, huh? Well, the more people who understand me, the better. put those dolls of mine up for sale at the shop. They were a big hit with that kid and his mom. They called me just to say thank you. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. Oh, I got to go buy supplies. I need a jet. Yeah, it seems like from all the dialogue options, it's just about him being a delinquent and him trying to help that kid. So it's pretty cool. Welcome back! But, so that was my bad. As long as the day not time leaves the hospital. So it does seem like we'll have the time to do it. I looked up when we actually do Marie's dungeon, so we got some time. That, well, I dreamed that two guys in my high school were throwing me into the air. Dude. <laughs> when we arrived at home, Teddy's there to greet us. Welcome home! I've been waiting for now, 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 come in, come in. Give me 
one of those honey I'm home kisses. Oh, don't be so shy. Smoochy, smoochy. Come on, please. What are you, Andy? Mistake. Today's the day Nana-chan comes back, so I've been practicing hard to greet her. Oh, I know. Sensei, what does it mean to glomp somebody? I found that in one of Yosuke's books, and I'm pretty sure it's romantic. Showing their talent. All right, Sensei, <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Oh, it's a bear hug. I can do that. My heart's beating so fast. I feel like I'm being swept away. What the hell are you two doing? Big bro, I'm home. Oh, Teddy's here too. <laughs> Nanachan, you're all better. Easy there, Nanako. You don't want to get hurt again. Nah, uh -uh. the doctor said I'm all better. <sighs> well, she's been so strong this whole time. Who am I to argue? I owe you a lot for this, so I've gotten us a <laughs> fancy dinner for tonight. Look, Nick, we you better keep me up to date with that episode, And bro. it says premium on the package. That means it's super fancy. I call the Harami and Kohara. Okay, well, I was able to say hello to Nanachan, so I guess I'll be going now. You're going home already? Now that you're home, Sensei won't be lonely anymore, so... Plus, I'm not a family member. Sensei, so I can stay here? You're Big Bro's friend and my friend. Friends can stay here. Right, Dad? Don't worry about it. It's just sushi. We're celebrating today. Pops, I'm such a lucky bear. Sorry, Amby. Wow, it's shinier than usual. It did cost a pretty penny. Mmm, yeah, that's good stuff. Mmm. I forgot to ask them not to put wasabi on it. Here, Nanako, I'll scrape yours off. Which do you want? Maybe we should have split it into separate portions first. No! It's so good! So good! So good! Nanako just brings that tear to your heart, huh? Yo! <clears throat> no. 
gonna go I love you. Oh, perfect. Rank 10. There it is. Sorry for barging in like this. I thought it'd be a good place. Oh, first though, there's one more thing I figured out. Reese stopped by our store the other day. She said the dolls were cute, so I told her I made them. Then she said that was creepy. Kind of stung, but I kept on showing her the other stuff I made. And in the end, she said, Maybe you're an amazing guy after all. Pissed me off the way she said it, but that aside, I get it now. This is what he was talking about. Just been throwing in the towel all this time. Of course no one could understand me. I've been keeping my distance out of fear. So I decided that I'd do things my way, no matter how tough. But it ain't just about hanging out with guys who understand you and telling the rest to get bent. You gotta make an effort if you want people to understand you. I wasn't even trying. Not just about my hobby, but like when the police suspected me, it didn't even cross my mind to try to tell them my story. I let them think whatever they want. And because of that, you, Ma, and that kid all got dragged into it. I didn't put in the slightest effort to try and make them understand. It's easier for me to act tough. So from now on, I got two rules. Rule one, be myself. Rule two, get people to understand me. I want you to have this, senpai. This thing's me being me. Now I can say it straight out. Huh? That other me is me. Pretty cool. This? For reals? <laughs> I get it. So I've become a little stronger, huh? You're my hero, dude. And my best bud. So as far as getting other people to yes, understand I'm me, positive today I'm holding the guy. Oven Mitt Puppets 101 class right here. Don't worry, even you can do it. It'll be real cute. Believe me. Congratulations! Up to 23 social ways for Johnny in this playthrough. Welcome back, Nanako-chan. Even though I've done everything else along Thank with it. Thank goodness you got better! That's Thank probably you. pretty easy achievement. I now. feel great now. I, I can go home and live like normal. Right, Big Bro? Yeah! I can go to school and help out around the house like I always do. I think 
you're even more energetic than before. Man, am I glad you're okay. When you went missing, I swear that was the most scared I've ever been. Plus, uh... Um, I don't really remember It's also the only happened. time I've contemplated murder, Naka. Sorry. Nanako-chan. Yosuke, you need to practice not sticking your foot in your mouth. I mean, seriously. Sorry. You can't blame her for not remembering. It was the same for us. Besides, it's better that she forget. That's right! Nanako-chan is better now, and that's all that matters! Oh yeah, is Dojima-san coming by? Dad, he went to work today. We'd just be bothering him if we asked him to come here. We're supposed to be celebrating, not having him buy us lunch. Because I'm sure that's what he'd do. Nanako-chan, aren't you bored just sitting and talking here? No, it's fun being with everyone. There's plenty of snacks, too. Nana-chan, let's go see all the food tasting stands. The kind ladies will cook you anything you want right in front of you. No, they don't. I know they're always yelling at you. What about tag, then? You run around, and then these scary guys come after you. It's so thrilling. That's store security. Heck, your whole idea of fun is just pissing people off. And no running! That'd be fun to play hide-and-seek in a store this big. Hide-and-seek? I'm good at that. Both the hiding and the seeking. Oh. Big Bro, did you come find me? Wait, that's... Nanako-chan? Do you remember? Not... Really? But I remember everyone coming for me. You are all cool, like those heroes on TV. Nana-chan. <laughs> I was able to become Nana-chan's hero. Don't cry, Ted. I'm, I'm allergic to people who cry. <laughs> I see. You remember. Then let's do it for reals. Juness, hide and seek. Really? Is that okay? We still have time before the special announcements. Plus, there's no need to run and hide and seek. If I tell my manager, I'm sure he'll let us use the electronics section. That's my boss! I'll be rooting for you when you write your apology! If I get permission, then I won't have to write one. This is so exciting! Nanako-chan, which part do you want to do first? Um, both! All right, winner gets meat! Why are you betting? None of this makes sense. <laughs> You're back. Wow, Nick, that was fucking stupid. <laughs> but dude, what do you fucking think?
Guys, that's it. All 69 quests are done now. Why? 65 hit. Yugiko would miss every fucking attack. Why would I use this? That plus 10 magic is pretty crazy. The big spell is good though, because that's just evading magic as well. Cool, that's how about. Sure, not a good thing to get done with the school so fucking quick because it's making True. Chie misses at every attack anyway. True. Can you fucking imagine? And that's the, like, what's Chie's fucking shit? 95! That's a 95! Bruh. She should not be missing that shit. Seeing Naoto? Naoto was here. kind of sucks because there's no skill in this game to like use um to like switch party members in and out so i feel like the ones that i pick i'm just locked into and especially because they're not getting any um any extra xp they're also wildly under leveled so i can't really switch them in and out Want to see Naotos or should I skip through Naotos? Yes. Mm-mm. 
Getting a call. It's Margaret. A little bit more time. Twin. <laughs> You'll find out. I definitely could have gotten her to rank 10. I probably could have gotten that social link achievement in this playthrough. Oh. Yeah. I'll do that. Definitely could have done hers. So I don't think I can do... Okay, now it's not available Thursday and Friday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday she is. So for today... I'm gonna go pet that cat. How does that sound, Abby? You like that? You could, and so could Abby. I've been drinking water all day. Okay, granted, I only had th granted I've only had three bottles of water, and one of them was the one I had in the morning with the Skittle juice already in it. So, you know, up to you. <laughs> We can make me do it twice. So Nick, are you continuing One Piece tonight? Are you starting Thriller Bark or? Well, right now I'm drinking soda. I'm having my first Pepsi Zero. I had three bottles of water, so I wanted to change it up. Nice, Nick. Because the, the last two bottles of water has been regular water. And you know how much I hate regular water, so... I had to have something in between. Welcome back.
Either way, drink or else deal. Doing good with that, though. Oh, she's going to catch up on all the lessons. With her weekend night studying for a while. Of course. <coughs> the writing class, when you're giving some handouts, you can make sentences using certain words. I'm home. Studying is fun, she says. She just wants to get smarter. She's already the smartest though, so, you know. Mm. Best place to hide away from the forest. Uh. Basic investigation. Yeah. <laughs> I think she wanted to learn that. What do you think, Ambie? a day with Naoto because we're just so close to the end. It wasn't here, right? No. Tell me if you see Naoto.
going to walk all the way this time. Yeah, because that's kanji. Yeah, now it says that back here. Nice. It says well, you'll see her. I guess she's not available. Even though she's listed as being available to me. Wait, what about this? Anyone? Oh, I don't I don't see her at all here, so maybe she's not available. Alright, well, I guess we'll just go back and pet the cat. Let's do it now. So, where the hell were you yesterday? Because of your dad getting pissed over math. Uh, no, both my both my parents were mathematicians. My mom was my mom was a math teacher and is a math teacher again now, and my dad is uh, an actuary. So, luckily, I did not have that. I assume it's after the advancement exams that uh, Mr. John was helpful, but he'd get frustrated and be angry and I'd cry and not leave. <laughs> it's not a good look. I'm sorry, Ambie, that's not fun. Which is pretty nice. 
see why she's very strong. You're back. <laughs> Yo, Pluto, how you doing? I'm dead, so there is a name last year, and I burst in tears, and it was nasty. <laughs> As well, Kate was in the hospital, so we were both stressed. Ah. Understandable. What was she in the hospital for? I, well, I mean, it was last year, so she's fine now, so you don't have to say anything. I dreamed that Kanji was chasing me. Dude, what kind of dreams is this kid having? Yo! <laughs> and that's not even because anything went wrong that's just because she wants to drink vodka Acted? Oh, that may have been voice acted. Or no, I think this. I forgot this thing even existed. Okay. It's the last of the seven tools. The detective's pocketbook. <sighs> All the things I had forgotten about are packed in here. I think Grandpa wanted to remind me of them. This childish game. He's selfish indeed. Forcing me to recall all this now. I was trying so hard not to be underestimated, not to be condescended to. <sighs> if I solved this town's murder case, then everyone would accept me. They would acknowledge me as the fifth in the Shiragane lineage of detectives. That's what I told myself. But that was no ordinary case. The best I could do was convince the police and there was no God, way I could that. allow everything to come to light. Of course, I had braced myself for that during the case. But that's why I had to do the best I could until the very end. I just wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be needed. That's why I fretted and stood on my tiptoes and focused only on solving the case. But the original reason I wanted to become a detective, it was because mysteries intrigued me and I could help people by solving them. That's all. I remember now. Do you recall the time I faced myself in the TV world? It was my task to accept the self who yelled, I want a reason for me to stay. But my reason to stay was not solely to solve the crime. You, everyone, gave me a reason. You gave me a place to stay. I have to be an adult. I have to be a man. With that way of thinking, I was running for myself. I don't need to look for something to change or something to accomplish. I only need to have faith in myself. I finally think I can accept myself, that I'm a woman, that I haven't yet become the detective I wanted to be. I, I am a woman and a detective, one who will continue to pursue the truth with you and the others as long as I live.
Alright, we'll get we'll get the rank 10 shortly. But there's no one else I can even start. I mean I can start, but I'm not gonna do it. We're just gonna pet the cat. How does that sound, Abby? Before we pet the cat, let me just go buy one thing. We're gonna pet the cat every day for you. I do just wanna buy something real quick before I forget about it. Is it in here? I know, we can't hang out with her on Thursdays and Fridays, but I will actually... Oh. What the fuck is this? Excuse me? Oh shit, that's crazy. I thought that would've... Oh, we can fucking play. Hmm. Alright, bro. <laughs> oh. No, I'm not gonna go see a movie with you, Teddy. Sorry. I thought that was more dreams about someone. Think back on my memories of Marie. True. She's located. That'd be easy for you to sit in that place. I'm just making little preparations, okay. She'll come for us. When she finds it. Okay. What, the, uh, a Marie you're talking about? In what way? That hydrates for you, buddy. She's the enemy of the extra shit. She's definitely the topic. I'll let you... Oh, did it say not ready? Oh, okay. Good. I'll let you decide that answer. It feels like such a long time ago that we were here chasing after the Phantom Thief. It was an unforgettable case, full of rewards. I enjoyed Phantom it. Phantom Thief? What about you? <laughs> I bet you can become a greater detective than I have. to give you something today I uh, made this please accept it I haven't crafted anything like this in some time if I went back to the estate I could have added a camera and transceiver oh but it flashes I made myself one to match now you're my assistant senpai Partner. <laughs> that has a nice ring to it. We should open our own detective agency.
The title of detective became a burden to me. I thought I had no other aspects apart from detective self. But you and the others gave me a reason to be as neither adult nor man. So, I... I was able to face myself as myself. Before the detective, before the child, before the woman. By spending time with you all, I changed day by day. It frightened me before, but now, with everyone, with you, I can proudly proclaim that I am myself. Nothing more, but nothing less. This potential was still dormant within me. I wasn't considering the things that I should have. The people who care about me as well as my own self. When I'm with you, I feel fearless. This actually really sucks. I probably could have gotten all of in this playthrough. I'm only missing five of them. Well, granted, actually all five of them are during the day, so they probably would have been conflicted with each other. I'm not. Close. Well then, let us begin. There's a lot you must learn before becoming a detective. I myself can't relent in my training to become a formidable woman detective. We'll start off with something that may come in handy before too long, shadowing a suspect. Okay. Gonna be your life class. She's supposed to help out at uh -huh. home. Life environment Eek. buddies. Oh. happening in Persona 5 at this time. We are arguably doing better by helping Nanako with her work. Starting February 11th. Alright, we got six days before we go. Yeah. But can't you fuck the world? Monica is all that matters. You're so right about that. Welcome back. The next six days are just going to be petting the cat and going to sleep. Actually, that's not true. Our exams start today. So it's actually going to be even quicker than that. We're not even going to get a chance to pet the cat, unfortunately. That's okay. I will make sure that I end the game on petting the cat.
Alright. Let's do it. Alright guys, let's go have some fucking fun here. I'm gonna pee real quick, enjoy. <laughs> yeah! Yusuke, you're pretty good! Dude, you too! Is this really your first time snowboarding? Just gotta keep your balance, right? Whoa! <laughs> You gotta open up your stance. Do you get it? Come on. It's it's easier said than, huh? Whoa! Damn, that hurt. Oh, oh, so sorry. <laughs> sorry. You owe me a date. You won't win. What? <laughs> down this slope a bunch of times now hey what do you think of my snowboarding skills i bet you're head over heels with them well yeah but only because we were falling down all the time teddy kept crashing into me it's not fair that kanji gets to keep skiing with now chan i'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons so you were doing it on purpose you bastard you guys are completely ignoring my lines huh so this was your first time skiing, Naoto-kun? How was it? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji-kun is teaching me, but it's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction or falling over without warning. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. My fur's all frozen, too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. We've got tomorrow, too, so let's call it a day. Aren't you hungry, Chie? I didn't even notice it until now. I'm super hungry! What are we having for dinner at the lodge? I think soul cooked in non-regional style. That non-regional part caught my attention. So... It's a non-style That's a good question. Style? I actually don't what know. What is that supposed to taste like? I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. That's so mean. I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. I wasn't yelling. And that cake was only good because Naoto helped you. That's not true. Amy, text me if there's dialogue. The I'll be right back. I don't care which it was. And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. There's something more important at hand right now. Soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? Meat! How much of a carnivore are you? I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. No beef? Or pork? Or even chicken? She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Neat. Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? No, we'd never do that. The bear meat is pretty gamey after all. You're so cruel, Yuki-chan.
Is Teddy still in the bathhouse? We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was gonna hold out in the bath until they showed up. Sheesh, what's he up to now? You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? What? That's the worst. Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me, rather than people like that, senpai? Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed! So why don't we... No. But I didn't suggest anything yet! Sorry, were you gonna say play cards? Why don't we go night skiing? I've always been impressed by people who can do that. Then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Then why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Tell ghost stories. I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree too. Huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. What? Stop it! Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff, too. Once, we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. And sometimes when you take pictures in that room during Obon, they don't come out right. Oh, that's pretty creepy. Oh, and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. Folklore has little valid scientific evidence, but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um... You're scared, too? Yes. This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? Oh, -ho, so... You got any special stories of your own up your sleeve? I can't believe you guys! I'm having no part of this! I'm plugging my ears! Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? Shut up, Moranji! Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? You stop calling me that, damn it! Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Abby, stop. That's Her too scary. Are off That's too scary for creepy. this. D don't do it. Let's see. It was over three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, all her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything. And soon, his sister rushed out of the oh, house. Oh shit, Fox, the next thank morning, you for the raid, bro. She was found unconscious outside the school gate. How'd your stream go? Just I popped in for a little bit while I was eating dinner, so in I couldn't end, chat. She was taken to the hospital But I saw you were fighting the blooper when he asked the down in the sewers. That's when happened? I popped in. It seems the girl they How'd were bullying go? was dead. They said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. That's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. That's not denying it. You're supporting it. Wait, did she die? Well, I think she turned up okay. Well, that doesn't matter. 
That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? Well, you're next. What do you have in mind? You're gonna do this too, Senpai? You meanie. Blooper killed you, Volcano killed you, everything killed you. That, on par for the course. It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? Ooh, one time at the inn there was this... Zip it! What was that? I heard something. I heard something just now. That was unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. Anyway, keep going. We can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. It's freaky. Something about a nose that long? Ah! Uh, uh, blackout? Oh shit! Something just went past me! I told you I didn't want to do this! Why didn't you listen to me? Someone get the lights on! I can't take this anymore! Hurry! The, hang on! Where's the switch? How dare you to think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone. I'm gonna curse you. Get him? Yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. Jesus, what? fuck me, Naoto. What's come over you? Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And, and, what happened after that? Holy shit. That was a hell of a line, dude. Oh my, there's been a lot in this game that's been touchy, but like that was, that was a big one. Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night, too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you, considering how loud you were. I told you over and over, the walls were thin. Uh, oh, so that's all. I thought he might have been peeping. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? Shut up. Who want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway? I think I would. Just a little. I may have done a little listening. I heard things about Nao-chan's size and Yuki-chan's shape. Stop lying, Ted! We didn't talk about anything like that! Wait, what about my shape? Have I changed somehow? You're letting him get to you. You're being manipulated. Geez, forget about it. Let's just enjoy our day skiing. Let's go, senpai. Hold it right there. Risei-san, don't you think you're being a little too... You know, you've been hogging the same ski partner way too much? Huh? But it works out so nicely. You and Yosuke-senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko-senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto-kun. Hey, what are you getting at? So, it's only natural that I'd pair up with Senpai yesterday. He and I will take it slow. You don't have to worry about me. Come on, Senpai! Let's go! Her logic is 100% ironclad! Showbiz people have amazing ways of persuading people. Why are you impressed? <clears throat> The, the reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with Senpai. In other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. Crap, you're right. You're right! I, I want to make memories with Senpai, too! Sometimes when you say things, I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. Th then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to ski. Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei, too! 
Um, hey! Yeah, you know, hi, Snick. Did you meet Why the skeleton yet? Why don't you let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make the call. Whoa, wait a sec, everyone. I don't like where this is headed. Some of you sound like you're out for blood. Let's all enjoy the slopes together, okay? Th that would be best. I concur. <sighs> Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. Just you wait to learn his backstory, Ned. No problem. You've got a partner who understands your needs. True. <sighs> well, let's go enjoy the slopes. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think there was anything you weren't good at, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? No, not at all. You're freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in or else you're gonna speed up. Come on, keep your balance with your knees. B but if I yeah, stand with up, my so feet further apart, doing, dude? I'll fall down for sure. Like I keep saying, you probably didn't you'll be explain fine. the one part you, you needed. You do then. slide down, I'll catch you. Not yet. You're so nice, Kanji. You never said anything like that to me. I already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. Well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Right, Senpai? They're doing that today, too? It's more like falling than skiing. Maybe they just don't know how to stop? Well, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. <laughs> ah, it's Chie Senpai and Yosuke Senpai. Yoo hoo Two are looking good. I'm so jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. I feel bad that we're in other people's way, so shall we get going? Please, wait. Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Okay, last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. Wait, weren't you listening? I can't turn or stop. Don't worry. Someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? Huh? That's what... Um, right! <laughs> I'll remember you said that. We gotta leave but you can't catch account. me if I get there first. Oh, it's still <laughs> no a problem, way Solo. Down. What are you playing? Jeez, you're too nervous now, Takun. You just need to ski straight. What the hell's he doing now? He's not even wearing skis. I think I'm going to walk. Nice solo. I played that a little bit. It was pretty cool for what I did. I think our friend Joker in here played a lot of, uh, out, or a decent amount of Outriders. Right, Nick? That was the game he was playing a lot. Who are we asking? Ambi, pick who we're asking. We can't ask my girlfriend because she's missing right now, but... Oh, and Pluto and Solo Levels. Uh, in, in, if you guys haven't been in here earlier, I have a straw poll going on right now. And uh, click the link and go ahead and vote on what game I'm playing after Persona 4 uh, Golden. We'll be done with it pretty shortly. Considering that we've been hitting these slopes for two days straight, I think I've gotten a lot better. I was asking you, Nick, of if course, uh, Joker just when was I get the hang of things, is the moment is we that have the game to leave. Playing for a while? Happens every time. <sighs> what should I do? I'm going to be headhunted by the pros. 
I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. Dude, there are no competitions where you slide downhill on your stomach. Snow is weird. I've never seen it before. How does this stuff get in the sky in the first place? It's the same as rain, but when it's too cold, it just freezes and falls to snow. Wouldn't that make it like little lumpy ice balls that bonk you on the head and stuff? Ouch! Why are you being so nitpicky? Kind of mysterious, though. How these little white water flowers just tumble delicately from the sky. When you look up, you usually don't notice it, but I can understand how deep the sky is. I feel like I'm falling in. Wow. I always had a feeling you were one of those warrior poet types, but I didn't see that coming. <sighs> Kanji's got the heart of a dreamy little girl. I'm good. Well, uh, you started this stupid conversation in the first place. I just asked where snow comes from. I didn't start writing berry tales about white flowers and falling into the sky and stuff. You, you picking a fight with me, Ted? It's gonna get dark soon. It's starting to snow too, so we should be getting back. I think today's dinner had some actual meat. If we get there too late, that carnivore is gonna get it all. Considering how active we've been today, it'll really suck if we don't get some dinner tonight. So, which way do we go to get back to the lodge? I wasn't really paying attention. I wasn't expecting it to start snowing this much, and I thought we'd be able to see it from up here. How about you, Senpai? Do you remember the way? Dude, are you sure? <laughs> this might be a ski area, I, but Pluto, to be fair, we'll I am going to be playing all three of those games on stream. I just didn't know which one to do next. So, those are going to be the next worse, three I can games just go I into high bear nation. I promise. I read about that in a book. Because I knew you wanted to see high on life. Don't even think but about I'm it. I'm sure you also wake up in would the like afterlife. to play One Piece Odyssey. In any case, let's get going. We can't dally around with the snow in this much. You're right. All right, then. Let's go. The nice thing about Odyssey is it's not canon, so it doesn't have anything to do with the anime. World Seeker also isn't canon, but I know that in World Seeker they have characters that you don't know about yet that are important. Are you guys okay? You guys are all still here, right? You two, me, and... Hey, where, where's Teddy? I'm here, and no jokes like, eh, that snowman's that talking I'm right gonna now, I'm going to check the results please. once the game is done now. This isn't good. We're com completely lost. And it's so cold that I'm going to die. Don't give up so easy. Show some guts, damn it. I remember reading that the people who give up first are the ones who end up dying. Actually, Sensei, I think my batteries are about to wear out. Such overconfidence was the fall of many a mountain man. Quit saying shit like that! O Odyssey doesn't have new characters. Luck. World Seeker does. So the one that you bought has new characters. Doesn't that look like a cottage? Great. And now he's hallucinating. You start dreaming on your feet and pretty soon you're dead. Let's huddle dead. For True. I'm not dreaming, asshole. Open your freaking eyes and look! That is indeed a snowy mountain cottage! When night falls, the phone line gets cut, and one by one the inhabitants die by the fireplace poker. Well, actually, I... That'll be the least of our worries. Look, we can't stay out in the snow Odyssey like this. Odyssey is just about a Let's random... Let's get over it, there quick. It's the same as World Seeker in the sense that they're both about completely random islands. Just with the Straw Hat crew. Excuse me! I just... I know is that World Seeker here? has characters that you don't meet for a couple arcs after Water 7, Wait, and then huh? also a big surprise that you don't find out until, like, Dress Rosa, which is around episode 650. So I know that stuff is in I the can't one that see you want, anything. One Piece World Seeker. I don't Whoa, think One Piece Odyssey has I those same characters. But it's better than freezing to death! Let's just consider ourselves lucky, okay? That, Anybody know the lodge's that, phone number? That's fine, so you don't you don't have to be in chat. You can always lurk. 
Seriously? Don't tell me. No one knows what it is? I don't have my phone with me. Me neither. Really? Come on, man. That's why cell phones were invented. You're supposed to keep it around. Who the hell would I call? We're all hanging around together. If you told me we were going to get lost, I'd have remembered to bring it. I'm all naked in here. You should have told me that this was going to happen. How was I supposed to know? If I'd known this was going to happen, then we wouldn't have gotten lost. Fine. I'll give Chie a call. Come on, Yosuke, quit stalling. Hurry up and call Chie-chan. The battery's dead. After all the shit you gave us for being unprepared, now this! That's an old phone, so it runs out fast. I can't afford a new one because I was saving up for a motorcycle. I never would have imagined something like this would happen. Come on, partner. You're our only hope. Simpa, You're our hero, right? You always save us, Sensei. I've always believed in you. Well, that's it then. It's hopeless. I'm so freezing. Even under that suit? We don't know when this blizzard's going to stop either. We're screwed if we have to spend the night here. Oh well, there's a hearth over there. Let's start a fire in that. But how are we going to do that? I don't have a lighter or anything. Let's look around. There's a hearth here. There's got to be stuff to use in it. Man, it looks like we're gonna survive this. I wonder where we are. Even if we do get in touch with the others, are they gonna be able to find us? I bet we'll freeze here. Come tomorrow morning, we'll just be lumps of ice. Really? Shut up! We're gonna make it happen! But man, this little fire's too small to warm up the four of us. Let's light a fire on part of the floor, then. This whole place is made of wood. That's called arson! We'll end up all burning to death instead of freezing to death! Sheesh, all you do is complain. I don't see you offering any ideas. Well, if we can't start a fire, all we can do is wear more stuff. Is there a sleeping bag or something around here? Oh, yeah! Like a big, thick, fuzzy bag is gonna be just sitting here. What? Maybe it might fit four. But, but I'm like a newborn baby here. If, if the three of you come in, my innocence will be destroyed. Will you not get off with that crap? That thing turned on just now, right? It wasn't just me. Uh, right. But why... I'm coming too, senpai. Me three. This smells really fishy. Hey, wait up! Whoa, dude, stop it! What the hell are you doing? Quit fooling around! Well, we have to find out, right, senpai? No! S sensei stop it! You'll fall in! Dressed. What are you doing here? Wait, what about our clothes? Why wouldn't they be dressed? Uh, do I really have to spell it out? Did you girls come to rescue us? I can't believe you came so far into the mountains after me. What are you talking about? This little hut is right behind the lodge we're staying in. It seems it's a storage shed. They don't lock it because workers come here often during the day. Anyway, what were the four of you doing shoving each other around in here? Uh, we were checking the TV. Why? What's the matter with it? Oh, uh, is this one of those 
male bonding things or something? Do you want us to come back later? Give you some time? What? No! No! You're completely misunderstanding! Okay, so you got lost, stumbled onto this convenient cottage, and needed to warm each other up. No! Damn it! Why aren't you listening? The TV just turned itself on. It makes no sense. The case has been over for months. So? Maybe the wiring's bad or something, or you saw some light reflected in it. This misunderstanding is unbearable. I feel so unclean. My reputation has been sullied. From the looks of it, this TV isn't even plugged in. If what you are all saying is true, then we may want to investigate this. That's what we've been saying from the start. This TV, huh? Then let's take a closer look, shall we? Uh, hey, wait a sec. Sounds good, Solo. Sorry, guys, my head is fucking killing me. My blood sugar just absolutely shot the fuck up. That's why I've been quiet. Hurt. Huh? What the hell is this? Solo, what, what does that mean? My. <laughs> Excuse me. Please forgive the slightly impolite invitation. Whoa. She's beautiful. Now's not the time for gawking. I think she's the one who grabbed me. Who is she? You know her? Friend? What type of friend is she? You got one mysterious life. Forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. We meet for the first time. My name is Margaret. I am a helper on this young man's journey. I meant you no harm. Um, well, can we trust her? I see. Do you remember? I have come to fulfill my promise. Yes, I have come to guide you. I apologize for the amount of time it required me to prepare. This is the Hollow Forest, the Closed Realm, created by her in the TV world, the world of the human mind. It would seem that after Marie left us, she shut herself in here. I do not know everything, but as you know, she was searching for her memory, and by opening her heart to you, she finally regained that memory. It would seem that what she found was not what she had been hoping for. Whoa, hold on. What is this all about? Marie? You mean Marie-chan? The one who was with you? I remember her! That fashionable girl with the hat, right? What do you mean she's here? And what was that about her memory?
Emmy-chan has amnesia? We are inside the TV right now, correct? A missing person ending up in the TV. Don't tell me. I mean, we put an end to all that. I do not think this is the same situation. I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. She was not taken away by someone, rather she came here of her own volition. She willingly came here? Does that mean Marie-san has the persona ability as well? No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. What kind of girl were you showing around town? Hold on, this is inside the TV, right? Then, aren't there shadows in here? You're kidding me. That means... He's right. If she were to be attacked by shadows... I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. If you are to proceed ahead in search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. The path ahead will be relentless. You alone will not be able to reach her. If you wish to see her again, then it is my role to help you. And to do so, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. I see. I was wondering why you didn't bring just our leader here. Now I understand. You're giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. You aren't here to stop us. Exactly. One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help, but you are also like Marie-san, a resident of this side? The human mind contains more than shadows. I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle. Are you talking about those things that came out of Namatame and Adachi-san? Well, they were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. What you see and what you believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers, as I know that you have been capable of coming this far. One more thing. As I just said, the Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. In other words, we can't come in and out of here forever? Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the Hollow Forest completes itself. Once that time has passed, this place will be closed forever, and you will never be able to visit here again. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your memories. We'll lose our memories? Like, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? I understand your conviction, but the chances of that are quite low. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. Any memories you have of Marie will disappear, and you will return to your peaceful days. No! This doesn't make sense! I merely have come to fulfill my promise. What you do is up to you. I have made a link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. That is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Huh? So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Exactly. This world and your world screens are linked place to place. It is a fact. Hmm. I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. I am repeating myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. I am sure she would not wish that either. Please, treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. Now, if you would excuse me. Hey, hey wait! Uh, please? It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. This must be the exit, like the ones Teddy has. So now what? 
What else? That Marie chick is in here, right? If she's in danger of being attacked by shadows, then we've got to get in there and find her. Hold on. It might not be that simple. Let us leave for now, at any rate. We cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. Yeah. Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? If we're gonna do it, let's get ready and take this on full force! me shut it there's eight of us and it's a tiny freaking TV oh I dented my head in anybody want to touch it uh no what are you guys clowning around for come on get up we got a meeting to hold we do what are we gonna talk about oh uh, I don't know but we always have one right I guess she just wanted to be the one to say it. Yeah, it would really mess with my head if Chia Senpai was coming up with good plans. Shut up! That's rude, you know! Still, that was a surprise. You know that whole Marie being from the other side thing? Wait, so the TV world is the world of the human mind, huh? It's not really sinking in, though. I couldn't even tell. Couldn't have been helped. That sort of thing isn't something that can be easily explained to others. It would be like the first time I met all of you. The issue here is Marie-san's motive. Why would she risk her life to shut herself in a place like that? I could see it if she was thrown in like we were, but why would she do that to herself? That blue chick did say Marie lost her memory. Maybe she remembered something that made her do that. Hey, I just thought of something. If the world she's in closes, she'll disappear from our memories, right? Isn't that the same as dying? What? Wait, you mean sh she's trying to? I, I don't know, but it just feels that way to me. She wants to kill herself and make us forget about her? She's erasing her own existence? I think Emi-chan's like me. I was really worried when I couldn't figure out who I was. When I finally found out I was a shadow, it was traumatizing. I don't think Emi-chan's a shadow, but I think she feels the same way I did. That she shouldn't exist. Teddy... You're right. I can kind of understand how she feels. Not having anyone know the real you, being alone all the time. Even when someone's friendly to you, you feel like there's something wrong. If I didn't meet all of you, I might have thought the same as her. Same shit with me. I was always being misunderstood, so I toughened up and started biting back. I was scared that no one would accept the real me if I ever showed it to them. In the end, I couldn't even admit it when I was showing myself. Pointless. Yeah, we're all like that. Everybody's suffering in some way. Yes, but we were able to change. No matter how much we hated ourselves, we were able to face it and accept it. Because we had dear friends. Yeah, I know now. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're the only ones that can save Marie-chan. If she's really thinking the same way we were, we have to go stop her. That's that, then. We should find out exactly what we're getting into first. It's better to know anything than to go in knowing nothing. It'll at least make things easier on us. We should devote a day to it. Teddy, Risei-san, can you scan that world? From the usual spot, of course. 
the rest of us should rest up to prepare for the exploration. If there are shadows in there, then we can't avoid fighting them. All right, let's do this! <laughs> oh, this takes me back. Even though it hasn't been that long since we finished the other stuff. Yeah! All right, it's super sniffy time together with Rise-chan. <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber teddy nose can pick up even the slightest scent. But this skill is not without its drawbacks. After three minutes, I get just an ungodly amount of snot. You! Hey, don't damage the bear before showtime. At least he's actually useful in a fight. How rude! What do you mean, at least? Let's regroup at school, okay? It's cold. Oh, well, let's start the meeting. First, allow me to report. Just in case, I've checked for missing people in the local jurisdiction to see if anyone may have wandered in there. Zero results. There are no missing person requests either. It seems that this place really doesn't have anything to do with our previous case. Hey, no fair! You said to rest, and yet you went and did research. But I went and checked the newspaper, too. I looked for any news of missing people, but there wasn't any. I also tried asking our suppliers and customers if there was anything going on, but there aren't any rumors. Ditto. I asked around at work, but didn't come up with anything. You can't underestimate the housewife network. Yeah, I tried talking with some former punks, but didn't get Jack. Considering that none of us could find evidence, perhaps it's safe to say that no one has wandered in accidentally. But more important is whatever Teddy and Rise-san found. How did your search go? I can feel that hollow forest really far away, but that's it. I couldn't sense Emi-chan's presence at all. That place, it's big. I'm glad we didn't just jump in there without making sure we were ready for it. The hollow forest, huh? Is that place also affected by the mind of the person inside? If that's the case, then did Marie-chan make that area? Hollow Forest... We heard that phrase before. In the last battle, right? I was wondering the same thing. Amino Sagiri mentioned it. The place that gave birth to those who answer the desires and wishes for lies of humans. Was that it? Hold on. Are you saying that the image in Marie-chan's mind is the same forest that created that monster? What's going on here? Well, who is she exactly? Our objective is to save her, but it doesn't seem like things will end there. If she is related to those monsters, then we need to do more research. What is she trying to do? Who is she really? It seems we have no choice but to go see her and find the truth directly from her. Yeah, let's do it! Whoever she is, we're not letting her die like this. That's right! I'm burning up! Arrgh! Right, let's do it. We don't know what she's bummed about, but we'll save her. Wait a sec! If I come and save Emichan, that's like an arrow straight through the heart, right? What should I do? I'm not ready for this. Dude, I can't tell if you're being a creeper or not. Hi, everybody. We're gonna end the stream because I cannot get my blood sugar to stop going up, and I truly don't know why. I have absolutely right. no idea why.
it's been it, it, when I started the stream an hour and 26 ago it's low I had a quick thing to eat and then I fucking skyrocketed so we're gonna have to end the stream for tonight because now I feel like shit Oh, it's one of her poems. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Don't know why. It really makes no fucking sense. This is the highest it's been in over two weeks now, so. Sorry, Misty. Believe me, if I could tell my body to fuck off, I wouldn't have fucking heartbeat. But it's not stopping. And I really don't know why. Thank you, Pluto. And thank you, Fox, for coming out, too. Thanks to everyone for stopping by. We got a lot of, uh... <laughs> we got a lot of story done. So at least when we come back... At least when we come back to this, we'll be doing this dungeon. And then we got a little bit more cutscenes to go. And, uh, we'll just have to see what comes after that. So, have a good night, everybody. We'll be live again tomorrow doing more of this. Have a good night.